Um, so Representative Rashore, uh so why didn't they, why didn't uh, Representative Rita call his bill? Well, because I think he realizes he doesn't have the votes to get it out of committee. It's a really controversial bill. I mean, I have gotten a stack of uh, emails, uh, calls, uh, faxes, whatever, that from all over the state, not only certain areas, but all over the state that's totally against this thing. And... Uh, Really, I don't know why he uh, would introduce this because there is, uh, I mean, there is complete uh, opposition to this thing. So, 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 where, where have these messages come from in, in your uh, district? Like, all, so yeah, no, I've gotten them from Rock Island, Moline, uh, uh, Niles, uh, down the southern, uh, southern part of the state, just all over. And all the, all the regional superintendents have sent me something from all over the state saying it's a bad bill and that they, they don't see how it could work. And actually, the county doesn't want to do it either. The county would be responsible, I guess, the way I understand the bill, for collecting uh, the funds and stuff and dispersing the funds, and they don't want to be doing that either. That's just extra work for them. So uh, I, I don't think he's uh, going to ever get the, uh, enough votes to get it out of committee. So I'm assuming that you're, you're not? I'm not for it, no. You're not for a it. Absolutely. So you wouldn't vote for it? Absolutely so, not. So how, how would it, he be able to compromise the bill? Because he said, he told me like earlier that he, his, his going to try to make some changes and like well I don't know I, I would have to see what he's going to do but right now I don't know how uh, he would be able to do that because number one it's a forced consolidation and nobody likes forced anything uh, and I'm for consolidations but I think it should be mutually agreed uh, actually I've had two in my district in the last of uh, well the one in Sherrard and uh, New Windsor that was several years ago but just uh, two years ago, Mercer, uh, the uh, Lido School District, and the Westmer School District merged, and that seems to be going well. But of course, it was a that was agreeable to do that. So uh, I don't think anybody likes anything forced down their throat. You know what I'm saying? So, so where specifically have you gotten complaints from um, about the bill? Like which which school? Like I said, all over the state. I mean, I can't specify which ones, but I know I've gotten from my my district every every school district in my my uh, legislative district have sent me uh, an email or personally called me saying that uh, they think this is a bad bill they want no part of it and please vote no on it so um, how many emails have you gotten oh hundreds hundreds that that thing's run out has my fax machine has run out of paper two or three times and I came in this morning, it was out of paper, and I put a, a, a new batch in, and it, it, it probably printed for 15 minutes. Is it, is it the sa same same, same people who keep emailing back and no, forth, or different people? No, it's different, 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 yeah. There's like, I, I think I'm correct in this, there's like 800 and some school districts in the, uh, in the state, and I think I've heard from almost all of them. <laughs> So not just in your district, not, like no, it's just outside all, of your all, district. Yeah, too. Absolutely. Yeah. So what is the majority of the complaint about the bill? Well, they just they like I said, they don't like the forced merger thing, and they just wonder how how it will work if the county took over all that, you know, the, the funding and everything. And there's just there's so many questions that they just uh, are not answered that they just don't like it.